Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 10th of 2023. Well, it is titled Orion and the Running Man. So what do we see here? Well, here we see several nebulae in the star forming region of Orion. Now down below is the prominent Orion Nebula, something that is actually visible to the naked eye as a faint smudge in the constellation of Orion. In order to find it, you can locate the belt of Orion, which is the three bright stars. And then going down from that is the sword of Orion. And in the middle of that sword, one of those objects, if you don't look at it directly, but a little off centered, will look a little bit fuzzy and is actually not a star, but is the Orion Nebula. Now this is really one of the large star forming regions near near us and is an example of an emission nebula with the great red glow of hydrogen gas that we see and the central stars that are just in the process of forming at the central portion of the Orion Nebula is the trapezium of stars, uh, very young stars that formed only within the last few hundred thousand years, which in terms of stellar ages is extremely young. And that's why we see all the remnant material here where star formation is still going on. So even though some stars have formed, others continue to form in this area. And the dark dusty areas that we see are also regions of star formation and where that process is continuing right now. Once those stars start to emerge, their intense energy energizes the hydrogen and causes it to glow with that red color that we associate with the Orion Nebula and other emission nebulae. Now the Running Man Nebula is up above and is actually parts of several different nebulae. And that is an example here. The bluer color is a reflection nebula. Now a reflection nebula is also caused by dust. So the same dust that forms a dark nebula when it's in heavier concentrations in lighter concentrations around hot stars will scatter their light. They give off primarily blue light and dust is better able to scatter blue light the short wavelengths than it is the long wavelength red light. So where they gives the the reflection nebula a bluish tint and that's what we see up above. Although we also see some of the dark nebula there as well again star formation still going on across this region. So in a spiral galaxy like our own star forming regions like this are quite common. Orion is one prominent one nearby but by no means the largest star forming region. We actually see many other much larger star formation forming regions elsewhere in the universe. So that was our picture of the day for March 10th of 2023. It was titled Orion and the Running Man. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be 3D Bennu. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.